Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be another surgery related video. Um, this video is going to be all about how to get a quote um, and what I was personally quoted from the surgeon and from the recovery house. And this video is pretty much just going to be how I'm budgeting and, you know, all the money that I'm going to bring with me to DR. Um, I'm going to talk for the beginning of the video, but then I'll switch you guys around and show you how I set up all my little envelopes here um, and exactly what I'm bringing. So this video is going to be super helpful just because I know when I was in the process of thinking, okay, where to start? What do I need to bring with me? Um, I'm going to do everything in order for you guys and bring you guys along the journey. So it will be super simplified for you guys. Um, so let's just get into it. So um, a lot of people think that when you get the surgery, you really just, you know, what do you think you would have to bring with you, right? There is so much more that you need a budget for. You need a budget for your plane ticket. You have to um, budget for all of the supplies that you need, um, the Faha garments. You need to budget for the massages that you need to get after surgery. Um, some of the medicines that you need to buy, uh, tip money, an overnight nurse for at the hospital. So there's definitely a lot. You're going to need a notebook and a pen to write all this down because it's a lot. Um, but I have it all written down here for you guys and I'm going to go ahead and go over all of this. So the first thing you need to do is get your quote. Um, to know how much money you need to bring. So to get a quote, um, you need to be able to communicate with them because they're in DR, um, Dominican Republic, which is a different country. Um, so you're going to have to download on your phone an app. It's a texting app called WhatsApp. Um, so I pulled it up right here so you guys could see. This is what it looks like. And you can go to your phone, the app store, um, and type in WhatsApp. Um, download it and then I'll add all the info that I can add below um, but to get the phone number to get in contact with um, Dr. G's assistant um, you could find it on his Instagram so I'll go ahead and leave his Instagram linked down below so you guys could go there and then her contact info the assistant's contact info is in the bio right there um, and it has the phone number you're gonna take that phone number message them and you're just going to say, you know, hi, I'm interested in getting a quote. And then they will answer back. And what you're going to have to do is send a nude photo of your front, back, and side. Um, so after that, you know, she'll show the doctor and he will give you what he thinks would be recommended for you. Um, for me, it was a tummy tuck. Um lipo of my flanks um and back and so pretty much 360 lipo and then a bbl which it says like if you get it or not like the price is still the same so obviously i'm gonna get it but um so for all of that i was quoted six thousand four hundred so I know that sounds a little bit high, um, you know, if you do your research and you know what other prices are for other doctors, but that price is including um, some days at the recovery house. So you have an option whether to go to one of the recovery houses. Um, his assistant gives you about six different ones that they collab with um, and you could stay at either one of those places or you can go to a different option and get an Airbnb. You can rent Airbnb, but then you also need to rent a nurse and probably you're going to need to rent a private chef unless someone comes with you, like family member, they could cook for you. But that's just like what I've seen. I haven't looked into that option, so I don't know too much about that. Um, but you could opt out of the recovery houses that they have recommended if you want to stay at a different one, whatever the case is. Um, and they would take, upon my research in the groups and stuff, a $1,000 would be subtracted from that if you didn't want to go to one of their recovery houses. But I went with the option to go with the recovery house because I really liked one that was on there anyways. So 
I'm going to Healing and Beauty. And if you want to know more about why I chose that recovery house, I'll link that video below. I explained all of that, why I chose Dr. G and Healing and Beauty. So I'll link that down below um, if you want to watch that video. Um, let's see what else. Um, so after you get your quote from him, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what is included in the quote. Um, but one thing I did want to say before I talk about that is before you even start this whole process, make sure you check in with one of your primary care doctors and just get some lab work done to make sure like you're a good candidate for surgery because you don't want to be wasting people's time, any of that. So you want to make sure your levels are good. You don't have any underlying issues, anything crazy like that. Um, before you even start doing this surgery process, I recently had weight loss surgery, so I know I'm a good candidate for surgery. I've checked all my levels. Everything is good to go. So just make sure you check all your levels because the last thing you would want is to plan all this, put down your deposit. Your deposits are not refundable. So imagine you put down all this money and then you find out you can't even get surgery. So that's something you definitely want to think about. Um, so included in that quote um is the tummy tuck the full lipo back waist and flanks like i said and the bbl so this includes your surgical procedure with epidural anesthesia you get it includes the fees for the surgeon the cardiologist and the anesthesiologist um one day of hospitalization that's not including the overnight nurse so that's another thing you need to factor into your cost. When you stay overnight at the hospital, you're going to want an overnight nurse. That ranges about $100. Um, and Julie, the assistant, said that she could recommend some girls for being the overnight nurse. And the reason why you want to do that is because you're staying in a hospital where there's tons and tons of other patients in this hospital you don't want to be there by yourself after this intense surgery. So the overnight nurse is there specifically for you. If you need help with anything, bandage changes, you're covered in blood and you need a bed change, anything like that, that's what that overnight nurse is for. So that's another $100 added on. Um, then you that includes the routine labs. So when you first get there, all those labs that they need to do, um, urine, chest x-ray, blood count, all that stuff. Um, cardiovascular pre-surgical evaluation. Um, it includes your stage one garment, which is your faha. That's the stage one. That's not the one that's too tight. Um, so another fee, another price that you're going to have to add on is you're probably going to get want to get one or two extra stage two fahas. Um, so that's going to be another like about 140 each faha. So about another $300 there, 280 to $300 there. Um, what else? It includes post-op meds for seven days. Um, it includes your post-surgical consultations. So after, um, your surgery, it covers all those visits. Um, when you get your drain taken out, all that stuff. Um, I believe there's maybe like two or three post-op, um, consults. And it includes your transportation from the airport and back. And then it includes 10 days at the recovery house. Um, and that's pretty much it. So for all of this, you need to put deposits down. So since I was going to their recovery house, um, well, one of the recovery houses that they had on the list, um, I had to put a hundred dollar deposit down for that recovery house. And then I had to put a $300 deposit down for the surgery. So that is $400 taken off of that $6,400 quote, um, to begin with, because the $300 goes to, for the surgery. And then the a hundred dollars, um, this part gets a little tricky. So pay attention. You need to pay the $100 to the recovery house to hold your dates. But it's not, if you have any extra money that you owe to the recovery house, the $100 is not subtracted from the recovery house's balance. The $100 deposit is taken off of your surgery balance. 
So if you owed, if you had to pay six thousand four hundred, you paid three hundred to surgery, a hundred dollars to the recovery house, four hundred dollars is now taken off of your surgery total, and now you only have to bring six thousand with you. Okay, I know a lot of people had a lot of questions on that. So um, I was able to sell the three hundred dollars for my surgery to Julie. Um, and then to the recovery house, you can either use like a Western Union. Um, it's going to be a money transfer. So I did um, El Nacional because um, my hubby knew how to use that. So he just sent that 100 over for me. Um, so also what you're going to want to do before you leave your, you know, you send any money out is make sure everyone is on the same page. So before I picked my date, um, I messaged the recovery house first to ask them what dates they had available. I knew they're super popular. I knew they were going to be booked. That's why I did everything in advance. And um, they told me, mind you, we're in 2021. I asked about three months ago. They're booked out until March of 2022. So she was able to squeeze me in for around April of 2022. And... Um, yeah, um, as soon as I got the dates with Healing and Beauty Recovery House, I then messaged Julie and um, said what date would work um, between these dates that um, Healing and Beauty gave me. And we were all able to agree on a date for my surgery and then the days for my recovery house. So now for the quote from the recovery house. Okay, so... Dr. G, his quote covers 10 days, but for each day, he only covers $85. So now this is only for healing and beauty. I don't know the other pricing on the other recovery houses. It might be a better deal. I don't know. I just know that I really wanted to go to healing and beauty. Um, so this is for specifically for healing and beauty. Also keep in mind a year down the line, you know prices might change so this is just to give you guys a idea so dr g covers 85 dollars per day so their pricing per day for a double room is a hundred so if he's covering 85 and their price is a hundred you still have to pay another 15 dollars per day so we're gonna get to that um so the double room is a hundred the private room which I'm doing is $130 per day. And then there's a top level floor and that's 160 per day. And then if you want to bring a partner with you or a friend or something like that, it's an additional $90 per day for that person. Um, so, um, another thing that you need to play into your days that you're staying there you want to stay about anywhere depending on what you did from 10 days if you just got lipo if you're doing a tummy tuck i would say about 13 days like the least um 13 to 15 days um so on top of that you need to come at least a day or two before your surgery because the day before surgery you need to go get all your labs done and all that stuff. So that's going to be another day added on as well. So for me, if I did the private room, which is 130 a day minus the 85 that he covers for 10 days, that's already $450 extra out of my pocket. And then on top of the 10 days, I'm staying another five days um, that's including the 13 days I'm staying post-op and the two days I'm staying, um, before my surgery. So 130, then the full price, cause they don't cover any more than 10 days. 130 times five days is going to be another $650. So total, that's another a thousand one hundred dollars coming out of my pocket for the recovery house. And that's not including massages yet. So, um, yeah keep that in mind it could have been a little cheaper if i went with a double room but i just don't feel like sharing a room with anyone while i'm recovering um 
I don't want anyone touching my stuff. So I just went with the private room. So that's what it's going to cost me. Um, now getting into massages. So originally, um, the price for massages was $50 with Oz. Um, and I did it for 10 days because the first like two or three days you can't get massages until Dr. G gives you the okay. So I just did 10 days and they were $50 each. So that was about another $500. Um, and the reason for your massages, you're definitely going to have to get them because you need to get all of that fluid out of your body. That's what helps shape you, all of that stuff. So those are the quotes. And then what's included at the recovery house, you get breakfast and then you get a snack. You then get lunch and then you get another snack and then you get dinner. Um, you get fresh juices and they do um, also a green anti-inflammatory juice, um, fresh fruit smoothies, and then bottled water. So that's like every day you're going to get that meal, um, which is awesome. They everything is fresh. Everything is amazing. If you follow their Instagram, everything just looks so, so good. So I'm really excited. Um, they have laundry service for free on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, and it says garment can be washed anytime needed before 6 p.m. Um, so earlier you heard me say that the Fajas, you're probably going to want to get two of them. And for that reason, exactly, um, you're going to be really bloody and all that stuff. So it will be good to have two. So when one is washing, you could still be in your faha. You never have to be out of your faha because in the beginning stages of when you're healing, um, if you're out of your faha for a little too long, you're going to swell up and just be in pain. So it's best to just stay in the faha with all your layers, all your foams, all that stuff. Um, so, and you don't want to rush the process of your faha being you know put in the dryer all that stuff it's better to have it washed and then let it air dry um because it is a delicate you know it's like an undergarment so you want to take care of it so i would say get two fajas um <coughs> and then they provide a lot of stuff excuse me at the recovery house already they have gauze alcohol cotton surgical tape gloves chucks pads soap towel toothbrush toothpaste that's just some things that she sent to me so they have a lot of stuff already there so don't overpack. Um, i'm gonna do another video on what i'm packing with me and i've just read over and over and over again in the facebook groups that so many people overpack. um you know i'm not going to be traveling all crazy i'm going with my kids over there and my hubby um, so I am traveling as light as possible. Um, and they also allow outside visitors from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that's another reason, um, I chose them just because my hubby is going to be in the area with my kids. And so for them to be able to stop by and say hi to me really quick is just, it's going to lighten my spirits a lot. And I think that's going to help me get through it. Um, but now for a total breakdown of prices now, those were my two quotes, um, from the doctor and from the recovery house. So now I'm going to go through exact pricing. So like I said in the beginning, you're going to have to factor in your flight. So I was able to find a round trip for $395 per person, which is a really good deal. Um, if you're getting the surgery, I recommend to do everything a couple months in advance. You don't want to do everything last minute because flights to DR can range depending around 400 to 800 round trip. So, you know, you want to try to get that best price. $395 was a good price for me um, considering the month. Um, right now we're in August, so the, um, flights are pretty cheap right now, but during the, um, other months, the flights get, you know, more expensive. So this was a pretty good price, um, for the month that I'm going. Um, so about $400 I paid there. Um, then out of the quote 
um, of 6,400. I only need to bring 6,000 with me now because I explained we paid the 300 to the, um, deposit for surgery and a hundred to the recovery house already. Um, so 6,000, then you need to bring $230 for mandatory insurance. Um, you need a hundred dollars for a COVID test. You need a hundred dollars for your overnight nurse, um, 500 for the massages, and then a thousand one hundred extra that I need for the recovery house. And then I added on here a thousand extra dollars for the extra supplies. So, um, you know, my Faha money would come out of here that three hundred dollars for the two Fahas. I'd be left with like, um, 700 from there which i think would be fine to get any little things that i might need what when i'm out there um so when i totaled all that up it was nine thousand four hundred and thirty dollars now this is on there as if needed um so if you need a blood transfusion that's an extra three hundred dollars so the extra three hundred dollars covers two bags so you want to make sure that you are working on building your hemo levels. You want to make sure you have good blood. Um, you know, you got to be taking your iron, all that stuff to make sure your blood levels are good. Um, so you won't need that blood transfusion. I do not want the blood transfusion. I'm praying that I won't need that. Um, I read a lot of good things on the Facebook group. A lot of girls don't wind up needing it. But you never know. Be prepared. You don't want to go over there without it. So I did add the extra $300 for the blood transfusion. And then the $100 for an oxygen chamber. Which that helps with burns. If you are to get burned. The oxygen um, chamber helps with that. So that's an extra $400. And with that added on. Everything comes out to $9,830. So I'm just going to round it up. I'm going to bring $10,000. Um, and that just gives me about a thousand two hundred extra dollars as like emergency money. Um, so yeah, that's like about how much I'm bringing. I'm bringing about ten thousand dollars at me. I think I covered everything that I think I would possibly need. Um, so the next video that I'm gonna do is what to pack and what to bring to DR because. There's a lot of things that people think you need and then there's a lot of things that you really don't need. So I'm going to be talking about that in the next video. Um, but hopefully someone found this video useful. Um, like I said, now I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys around and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I organize all of my money in here. All right, guys. So I'm just going to finish off the video by showing you guys how I set up my planner um i think this is going to help me stay organized down there rather than just bringing ten thousand dollars down um like in a bulk and not having it organized i don't think that would work for me um i also want to mention that when i gave you guys these totals i didn't add in the tip money for the massages but now that oz is not at healing and beauty anymore i don't think the massages are going to be fifty dollars anymore i think they're probably going to be around 30 or 40 um I just messaged Carla at Healing and Beauty. And so I talked to Carla and the price that they have for massages now is 40 each massage. So 40 for 10 days would be $400 and I would have 100 left over for tip. Also, money. anyways, like I said, this is the price of all this. Um, and I'm going to be bringing 10000 So I have an extra little bit there. And with the extra... Um, emergency money so that's okay ten thousand dollars i feel if you go down there with ten thousand dollars you will have plenty um so this is my planner setup um it's not 100 percent dumb but i really want to get this video up um i know you guys are going to ask all of my cute inserts are from the clever planner she is on etsy and she has instagram so i'll leave both of those linked down below but that's where you can get all the custom dashboards and cute inserts and stuff like that so i have that then i have this card um insert holder which i'll leave linked down below this is from aliexpress um if you don't know what aliexpress is it's an app that you can also download on your phone everything comes from china so the shipping is a little bit slow but everything is way cheaper than you would get 
on Amazon or anywhere. Like the prices are amazing. So I just have insurance cards and stuff like that there. So I'm going to skip over that. Then I have these old calendar insert pages, which I love the LV border. So I'm going to print pictures of my hubby and my kids, my dog, and I'm going to put them in here and then laminate them all cute so I could have the cute border around my um, kids pictures and stuff. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have um, these dividers along the side. So this is also from the Clever Planner, another divider. Um, so I have a section for contact info. Um, so that's that. I have a section for notes. And in the notes, I just have all the money that I would be needing to bring. Um, and then like Dr. G's um, info, his address, all that stuff. I want to have all the addresses written down. I want to have the Faha place that I'm going to, which is Alexander's all his contact info, everything just written down here. God forbid my phone doesn't have service or whatever. I want all numbers and everything that I'll need written down here. Um, and then just some extra note paper. So if I want to take like my waist measurements or jot anything important down, I have that. Um, then under weight, I got these little um, tab inserts on AliExpress. So I could leave these linked down below, but yeah, I just keep track of my weight loss on these from last year and this year because a lot of you guys know I got weight loss surgery so I like that um here's another cute dashboard um then in here I just have this list paper which it came in a big pack on AliExpress for a really good price so I have this list paper another cute dashboard and now we get in to the money and how I have it organized so I got these top loading pockets off of AliExpress. I have one on the side here to show you how it came. So it was pretty annoying because it came with the holes not punched out. They're kind of punched out, but not really. So you're going to have to get something with like a point and literally just pop them out. But it was a really good price, each one of these. So I believe I got six for like $4 or something like that really good deal so i'm gonna go ahead and leave these linked down below too so if you guys want to get them for my planner i got the a6 size um and they have different ones this is the top loading i feel like i like this one the best they also have ones with zippers on the side which i feel like some people would like more because um you know they feel like their money would be secure but for my planner um i'm not sure if the zippers would have stuck out too much so these work perfect for me so i ordered a couple more because as we go through you're going to see that some things are mashed together which i don't want um so i ordered some more of these so each thing each section could be individual so i still need to add a thousand dollars to here i pretty much have all my money together except for the thousand dollars emergency money and a hundred dollars for my overnight nurse but that's emergency it's by itself then i try to put everything in order so i got 150 dollars here for tips i think i might put up to 300 in here and you're going to want to get this in smaller bills in fives and ones so that you can tip people they are not going to have change for you so i would say get this in smaller bills um, then I have 6,000 in here. I already ran over why I'm not bringing 6,004. We already paid this. So I have a remainder of 6,000. Bring this in big bills. Um, I'm actually going to try to pay some of this before I even go to DR. So I don't have to bring this whole 6,000. Um, but this could be in big bills. You're just going to pay that in a big chunk. Um, then you have your mandatory insurance of... 230 you have to pay that and your covid so that is in this top loading pocket um the clever planner also made these for me she is such a sweetheart but i just feel like i actually like seeing the money better um so i'm going with the clear pockets but if you're it would actually kind of be smart to go with these um where it hides the money because then no one would know that there's money in here so you know it's really up to you personal preference but there's that 
Then in here, I have the extra money. So I might put this with the emergency money up in the front, actually, um, because we might not need to use this, like I explained earlier in the video. Um, um, hopefully, I won't need a blood transfusion or hopefully I won't get any burns and I don't need the oxygen chamber. So that could potentially be coming back home with me. So there's that. And then I have the 1,100 in here for the recovery house. This you can also bring in big bills just because you won't need change. Um, and then this, I would definitely say bring in smaller bills because you're gonna be paying each massage um, separately. It's not you pay one time. It's not that type of deal. You pay each individually and then usually you would tip. Or um, I've heard some girls, you know, pay their massages and then they tip at the end. Um, so I think I'll just pay for my massage and tip that day a couple, you know, maybe $5 per massage. Um, so have the 500 in there and that's pretty much it guys. And then back here, I just have my passport and then this is another dash cover slash ruler back here. So that's what I have right now. Hopefully, like I said, this video was helpful. If it was, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. And I will definitely be making an updated video on what I actually spent and how much money I was able to bring back home with me. So I guess until then, and I'll see you guys in the next video.